Hey guys, this is my hello, and this is Let's Play Pokemon Crystal, and I'm excited, or whatever. So, you know, we, you know, defeated Claire, so it's now time for us to go back to New Bark Town, so we can meet with, with Professor Elm. You can either fly there directly, or you just can go down Route 45, and then 46, and maybe 47, well, mostly 46. This leads to a lot of trainers, but first here's Dark Cave, with, um, I guess, Pokemon. Um, the Pokemon in this, you know, portion of the Dark Cave, you know, closest, the one at the entrance closest to Blackthorn City, um, let's see, this place has, you know, tougher Pokemon, like Golbats, and it also has your very own, well, this is not a Golbat, or, I was talking about Wobbuffets, you know, second Pokemon, they rely on defense, I mean, they kind of, they're weird, they use Counter and Mirror Code, but they have a lot of HP and they're freaking useful. Now, as I said, um, there's, a, there's a lot of trainers here and this path is optional, so I'm going to speed through fighting all these trainers for experience. So, yeah, hope you enjoy the music.
Okay, so I think that's all of the trainers to, that we needed to, to, to taking care of there. So here, here we are in this mysterious secret place, secret pond. Um, yeah, there's nothing really special about this place except you can fish here for dratinis and you can get a mystery berry, which I never really find much use for anyway, so yeah, that's that. Anyway, so um, this also this is also Dark Cave, but it's, you know, where you can find weaker Pokemon. Oh, there's an item there, though. Huh. I wonder how you get to it. Huh. Huh. I might do a Dark Cave exploration, but... Oh. Yeah, I might do a Dark Cave exploration, but you need Strength, Surf, and Rock Smash. And I never was a big fan of Dark Cave, because I find that it's pretty useless, because by the time you get the Blackthorn, when you can actually, you know, traverse through the dark cave, you fly, so that kind of ruins your purpose. Or you can just go down the route, and I don't know, I just find it useless. So yeah, we've pretty much just kicked ass all over this place, you know. And look, this is a rather, you know, familiar place. With familiar music. And familiar tutorial type people. Because we are back home, Route 29. Yes, our journey has made us go in a huge circle back to where we came from. So, I actually um, go to Cherry Grove City first and deposit a Pokemon to get a Pokemon. So, hold on. Okay, so I've done my business. So, now let's go back home. Let's go back home. Da -da -da. Home is where I will land at home. Home. Let's go home. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, the chicken is still here. Rotting inside the Pokeball. Rotting to death. Let's talk to Professor Elm. Now that we finish our, you know, finish our business. Hi, Milo. Thanks to you, my research is going great. No, it's not. Take this as a token of appreciation. And we're gonna... Oh, jeez, it's a Master Ball. This is the Master Ball. The, if you... It will not fail in catching a Pokeball and Pokemon at all. That's to explain. It's the ultimate ball. It'll catch any Pokemon one without fail. It's given only to recognize Pokemon researchers. Why? Why do researchers need Poke and Master Balls? Since don't trainers need it more? I don't know, whatever. I th yeah, see? I mean, that's the point. But yeah, you get the Master Ball, which will not fail in catching your Pokemon. No, um, this is not the only Master Ball you can get. That a lucky number show in Goldenrod City, in the radio tower, also gives you Master Balls if you get the exact same ID number that they're calling out. This is pretty hard, but if you trade a lot and somehow end up with the right ID number at the right time, you get a Master Ball. So, or, of course you can always cheat for Master Balls, but cheating, schmeating. Let's go back home and, you know, say hi to her mom. Why not? See, you know, how she's been snoozing off of her money and all. Get a room, Daddy. Where's this money, money? Yeah. Um, let's see. We have... She has saved for us... Um... 43,664 43,664 I just want to withdraw like about half of that yeah I'm gonna do that don't give up never give up never say never oh yeah no just no hmm Let's see, let's go into here, and first of all, I wonder, did her mom buy us any max repels? Well, she bought us a super repel. Super repel! Jeez. But, let's see what, you know, our mom has given us for, well, let's see. Oh, the fairy doll, that's pretty, um, no, I didn't, I didn't want to put away the Charmander doll. Yeah, that's pretty, um, gay. I mean, I don't know, whatever. Yeah, I didn't... No, no, never mind, never mind. Okay, I'm actually gonna go back and get... Um... Um... Some Master Pals, so see ya. Okay, so I've got the stuff I needed, I think, I hope. So, now this is body of water. What does this lead to? What does the map say? Absolutely nothing. Ooh, so this is unknown territory. How mysterious. Well, we never, you know, took care to surf until now! Since, you know, as Claire said, this is the way... Wait a minute, what? Oh yeah, I didn't use my Pearls yet. Duh! Dummy! 
Sorry about that. So let's go on. By the way, we are on Route 27. And holy jeez, what is this place? Kanto. Kanto? Yet the structure and the formation of the cities is like Generation 1. Well, that's because it is Generation 1. And here's majestic music and the guy who just, you know, confronts us like, Holy tr Hey! Do you know what you just did? You've taken your first step into Kanto. You've just committed illegal immigration. You'll be deported and then you'll be sent to concentration camps and whatever. But yeah. We are now in the new land of Kanto. On That's what I like about that's what I love about the second generation. There are actually two worlds to explore. Why well, I mean explore is kind of a Eh, screw the red candy. It's there. Yeah, so that's what I like about you know the second generation. There's a lot more land to explore. Exploration. And here's Tojo Falls. The link between Kanto and Tojo. You can tell by the name because you know, it says Tojo, like you know Kanto, and then like the Jo, and the Johto, whatever. So here's a cave where you need waterfall, which is why I brought with me Red Slave, who knows waterfall and whirlpool. Two, you know, water HMs that are not very um, as useful as. Huh. Moonstone. Do I have any. Um, let's see. I guess I can give a calcium to somebody who needs something like. I'll give it to, I'll give it to Bakufan. Yeah, I'll give it to Bakufan. Wait a minute, I can also throw the berries since who needs berries at this stage of the game? Yeah, so. Um, in Heart Gold and Soul Silver, there's like this um, little, you know, side thing where, um, which involves Celebi and a little character who never appears in this game. And that's Dodge this woman, girl, and get. Where are you after with Pokemon? Pokemon League? Are your Pokemon loyal enough for you to win? Because I think you're crazy. I am gonna try to deserve you very much. He's a good trainer. Yeah, good for your journey. And she gives us TM37, which is Sandstorm. It'll hurt all Pokemon each turn, except for Steel, Rock, and Ground Pokemon. So, Advanced Trainers only. Yeah, I guess so. But I think we want the episode off here. So, next time we'll go on to the Pokemon League. And I'll be skipping trainer battles or something. Whatever. See ya.